Hi there, I'm Jana once again, and we're following along a series of seven steps to get started in mobile data collection in Kobo Toolbox. Now, in this video, we're going to go through the third step in the process. You can keep watching here on YouTube, or if you want to get a certificate at the end of this course, feel free to go over to the Humanitarian Data Academy. This course is still free, but just sign up for an account so we can see your progress through the course, and then you get the achievement certificate at the end. Okay, so we're in our uh, series of seven steps. We went over, remember, the first step is to create a username and password in Kobo Toolbox. Then you install the Kobo Collect app on your Android device in the second step. And now in this step, okay, so what we're gonna do in this video is set up your settings in your Kobo Collect app, okay? So you can see my phone once again on screen. And what I want you to do is go to that little circle in the upper right hand corner and tap that. For me, it's a K. And when you tap that, it brings up a dialog box, projects, uh, it shows your projects and it has a button called settings. And I want you to tap that settings um, button. Now you can see that you've basically got kind of six um, things that you can tap uh, there, server, project display, user interface, maps, form management, and user and device identity. Now, if you tap that first one server, you will see that that's all the data you have already inputted when you set up the app, right? It's got your URL, your username and password. Now, if you got it wrong when you put the URL in, um, you can always tap that and change it there, okay? But we're gonna go, I'm gonna hit the back button to go back to my project settings. So what I want you to do is start with project display. Now, project display uh, has three options, project name, project icon, and project color. I'm quickly going to change my project name to um, seven steps, okay? Because that's what I am creating this for. So that is my project name, okay? And project icon will just be a seven, uh, but you can also put an emoji in there if you want to. Um, uh, so let's, let's go with that for now. And then you can choose a color. So whatever uh, color you choose, that's the, the color of the circle. Now this is just a bit of fun, um, but it does help you identify that this is the project um, you're going to be working in. I'm gonna hit the back button to go back to that big list of um, options that I can modify. So I've got server, we've gone through that, and project display, we've gone through that. User interface, you can feel free to tap through those. I like the, the default settings, so I'm not gonna change anything. Um, as well, maps, there are lots of options you can do uh, with maps, but those can get into uh, more advanced ways to use uh, Kobo, and so I'm gonna leave those to the side for now. Um, if you are really you know, starting on the journey of Kobo Toolbox and you do wanna get into the details, uh, we have further courses where we can teach you a lot more about all of the details in here, but uh, for right now, I'm just gonna share a couple of my favorite settings here in form management. So under form submission, you'll see there's something called auto send and right now it's off. Now I like when I finish uh, form, I want that data to go to my server, okay? And so what I do instead of off, I want to default to Wi-Fi only. So there are lots of different options, cell only, Wi-Fi or cellular, it just means it means it's gonna check how are you connected to the internet, right? If you don't want a bunch of data being sent over your mobile data, uh, then choose Wi-Fi only if you want that auto send. So that is my recommended um, submission style for auto send. And then delete after send. If you are collecting people's personal data or pictures of people or anything sensitive, I would recommend that you delete the data off your phone after it gets submitted to the server, okay? As this is especially important if you've got lots of people out in the field, they've got devices and those devices could get lost or uh, could be uh, taken from someone. And if you've got a lot of people's personal data on there and they could go in Kobo and, and see a lot of data, I would recommend delete after send. It's it's simply just, just a data protection measure. Let's call it that, okay? And then uh, form filling, the only thing I would recommend here is that high res video would be turned off. And uh, that, those are my kind of three recommended settings that as your first setting up your app, that's what I would recommend. Hit the back button, go back to your project settings overview. So we've done server, project display, user interface, maps, and form management. And the last thing that you can do is if you tap user and device identity, and 
when you go in there, tap on form metadata. Okay, so if we go in there, we've got user defined form metadata at the top and then device defined at the bottom. Now that device ID at the bottom, that is basically the ID number that belongs to the Kobo Collect that you just installed on your phone. Okay, so that's a unique identification that will always tell you kind of what, what Kobo Collect um, device did this data come from? Okay, so that will always be submitted with your data whenever you collect data using your device. But you can also define some personal um, details. So I'm going to put uh, Jenna R as my username and you can set your phone number and you can set your email address. Now, those can just be helpful if they go along with your data and if someone is managing all of kinds of data from all kinds of different uh, people who are in the field collecting data, um, it just identifies, oh yeah, that's that person. We have the phone number, we have the email address, we have uh, the names, we know who that, who that person is, okay? So I like to set that up just because I think it's helpful when you're then analyzing the data in the back end. Okay, I'm gonna hit the back button to go there. Um, under usage data, it just says collect anonymous usage data. I like that to be turned on just because I think um, it's really great for the ODK and the, the Kobo teams who manage this on the back end to be able to see some anonymous data. Uh, so I like just to, to tap that on to support them. And those are kind of the key settings that I want you to go through and set up. Um, if you hit the, t the back button all the way back to your home screen, you can now see that seven steps is our project name. Our project icon has been changed to that smiley face with the orange background. And if I tap that, um, you can see that we can go back into the settings, okay? So that's settings all set up, ready for us to jump into the next step. So I will see you in the next video for step four after you go and set those settings up in your app, okay? See you there.